We're now going to look at the angles inside of a quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? It comes from Latin, with quad meaning four and lateral as lengths or sides. So a quadrilateral is any four-sided shape. What do we know about a quadrilateral? Let's draw a quadrilateral, just to one side. Well, in a previous video we found out that the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. But any quadrilateral can be broken down into two triangles. What does that mean? Well, if each triangle is 180 degrees, that means two triangles, which make up a quadrilateral, is 180 plus 180, which is 360 degrees. In other words, what we've discovered is that the angles in a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees. Angles inside a quadrilateral, always worth noting down, add to 360 degrees. Let's see that in action. If I draw a random quadrilateral you've never seen before, there's one side, another side, a third side and a fourth side. There it is. Looks pretty random. But we know one thing about it. All of the angles inside the quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. Let's draw in a few of those angles. This side, let's call 46 degrees. That angle. The angle on the right hand side we can call 150 degrees and the angle at the base, let's call that 32 degrees, just to make things complicated. Your challenge is to work out this remaining angle and let's call him X. How would we do that? The only way we can do this is if we realize that all four of the angles must add up to 360 degrees. So what we do is we add up the three angles we've got so far and see what's left over from 360 degrees. 46 plus 150 plus 32 would be, I believe, 228. I'm not sure if that's right. Let me just double check that. 182, 188, 228. That should be right. So what's our missing angle, X? Our missing angle X is whatever is left over from 360 degrees because the angles inside of a quadrilateral always add up in total to 360. What we do therefore is 360 take away 228 and see what's left over. That would be 132. So indeed the angle X equals 132 degrees. OK, there's no need to do hundreds of examples because I think you're beginning to get the idea about the angles inside a quadrilateral adding to 360. But let's just do one more acute one. How's about we had a situation with a straight line and on top of that straight line is a quadrilateral that looks something like this. It's not a trapezium or anything special, it's just a normal quadrilateral. But we're told that this outside angle is 40 degrees. And we're told two of the inside angles are 60 and 130 respectively. That, that one's 60, this one is 130 degrees. Your challenge is to work out the angle labelled Y. Now you might be wondering, I've only given you two of the angles inside the quadrilateral. How on earth do I find Y? What we're going to need to do is use our knowledge about the angles in a straight line. Do you see this straight line here? If I draw a little semicircle. It starts on the straight line, the angle, and ends on the straight line. The angles on a straight line add up to 180. So if that angle on the outside is 40, what would you say the angle on the inside is? 
it would have to be 140 degrees so that both of them add up to 180 degrees. Now we have three of the angles inside the quadrilateral and we know that all four of them have to add up to 360. We can do a little bit of arithmetic. 140 plus 130 plus 60. What's that? That would actually be 330, I think. 270, yeah, 330 degrees. And again, you can do the calculations any way you like. The point is, all four of them inside the quadrilateral add up to 360. So, what's left over for Y? Y must be 30 degrees. 330, add 30, is 360. And again, we've seen how the angles inside of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees.